Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. We're showing you the progress that we're making with Sila. I'm going over the big steps. Oh dear, she's uh, resisting now. Serpentine, serpentine. Go back out, come back in. She just went over the big steps without agitation. She uh, jumped off, but not as if she were going over the Grand Canyon. Oh, oh now she says, I'm done, aren't I done with work? She doesn't want to move. <laughs> Kyle, you want to get that? Okay, so we've got to deal with that forward motion. Step up, Sila. Step up. Step up. Step up. Okay, serpentine right away. Good. Step up. Step up. I'm going to help here. Step up. Step up. Come on. Step up. Step up. Pull. Step up. Right, right. Step up. Step up. Resistance. Oh, look at that resistance. I know that zebus do that when they don't want to do something. This is the first time I've ever gotten it on video. Come back out. Let me see if I can get her up the step. Maybe I have a little bit more assertive action from history with her. Step up. Step up. Step up. Get an arm extension. Angela, step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Over the side. Step up. 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 Here, you come here. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Oh. <laughs> Boy, are we getting uh, a, a, a predictable but a negative reaction to our request. When we just gotten her to do it without question the last three times, this is going to be the beginning of my next show. We need to get her cooperation. Step up. 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 Yeah, go across the, the short end. Good. Good. If you can't get the goal that you want that day, go back to something you know you can get. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. On, Step, up. Step up. Rhythmic pressure. Good. And now we're not going to go all the way to the top, top step, but I am, for today's lesson, going to ask her to step up, going in that direction. And then in our next session, we hope Step. we'll be able to show you how willing she was a few minutes ago. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Look where you're going. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Step up. Rhythmic pressure. Step up. Step up. Good. Keep going. Yes. I just read it for the moment. I said, okay, I'm seeing willingness. I'm seeing forward motion. I'm not seeing hesitation, but my goodness, are we going to stop now and repeat, repeat, repeat. She gave us a little tantrum. And <laughs> horses do this, cows do it too. You've got to recognize when they're really afraid versus are they being stubborn. And right then, Sila was being stubborn, and she's a young heifer. We have to make her realize that not only does she have to trust us, but she has to respect our requests. She has to trust that we're not asking her to do anything dangerous, and she has to trust that what we're asking her to do is something she must do for us. And that's how we're training little Zebu heifer Sila, ultimately to pull, not only to pull the single tree, not only to pull a log, but to pull the stone boat. 
and we'll show you as we go. Our next session. We're doing our um, work with our single tree first, and then we're going to see if we're going to get any temp temper tantrums today and going up the big steps. We think maybe it's directional dependent, so we're going to do it from both directions and see if we uh, get her compliance or not. This is little Miss Sela, our heifer. Go ahead. We're doing step up, random number of steps. Important to keep those chains behind, so that's why Kyle is holding the single tree. Keep going. Repetition, repetition. We're not going to show you how much repetition we do, but we're showing you that we do it every time. And we can't go on to the next step until we have consistently correct answers. She's going to, you know, continue to challenge us until she accepts the fact that we are not going to give up without the correct answers, that we are going to be patient and repetitious, and we need her to be willing to learn. Now, look at that. Use your, uh, your arm extension behind her driveline. Rhythmic pressure. I'm going to go and help, leaving the camera on. Step up. Step up. Yeah, go faster, go faster. That's okay. Hold on a minute. We only have three people again today, but yeah, she, uh, it's attitude. <laughs> I was pretty insistent. I did some rhythmic pressure on her hip. Uh, I, with uh, a louder voice, said, step up, and she started moving. So I said, okay, move with her. Let's pick up speed. The hard part is staying behind her, Kyle. Okay. All right, let's go back again. Let's see if... She's going to have a better attitude Step now. Step up. Okay, I'm going to go and immediately, ah, even walking towards her, she says, uh oh, I better start doing what I'm supposed to do. It's a lot of attitude, and that temper tantrum we had last time indicates to me that she is uh, starting to resist when she didn't at first. Much better. Okay, see if you can hope. Good girl. This time, keep going straight. And Kyle, if you can put it down so she can feel it and hear it, again, pick it up if she starts to freak out and keep it behind her. And we've got it in the carabiners and the back on the britchen so that it's less likely, less likely to get wrapped up in her legs. You can put that single tree down, Kyle. Good. Just go with her. Good, good. A few more, six more steps. Good. Pick it up, Kyle. We're not ready to leave the single tree down when we G and ha. Okay, come on back. If she's behaving, put the single tree down. Hold on to the long chain, but let her pull. Let her pull. Oh, very nice. Very nice. If she can get here without causing problems, we'll make that her last single tree run today. Yes, yes, I would say that was a B plus. Let's take the chains off, Kyle. I'm gonna uh, help if you need it because I really am curious, are we gonna have a temper tantrum on the big steps today? Uh, and if so, is it gonna be directional dependent? Sometimes if you're going one direction, you get the right answer. If you go the other direction, they're being distracted by whatever's ahead of them, you might get a different answer. And we're not sure last time whether it was directional dependent. We certainly don't want to allow that answer to persist, though. Okay, now, coming from the usual direction, which is from here where we are with the camera, 
uh, that's going from west to east towards the, the big steps. Uh, Kyle, why don't you come and run the camera and let me stand at the big steps. Let's see if we're going to get a temper tantrum. Okay, go ahead, Angela. she realized that we weren't going to accept the wrong answer and we're going to continue to um, put pressure on her for the wrong answer. She gave us the right answer several times in a row. We remove the pressure, we give her that reward, and we do repetition. And that's what we're going to do this week as long as the weather holds out. It's overcast today. We don't think it's going to start raining this week. But she needs a whole lot of practice uh, not to learn what to do but to change that resistant attitude that kind of cropped up in our last lesson. In today's session with Sela, we actually have the log hooked up to the single tree. And I'm going to leave the camera on the scene, and I'm going to go pick up the log after we've got the chains hooked through the britchen carabiners up to the hooks on the yoke. Aaron is at her head. He's a little bit stronger than me or Angela, so if she does veer off, he tends to grab her collar and uh, give, her, give her the right command, and she is more controllable that way at this point in her training. Now, we're not going to do this today, but in the future, we're getting ready for her to pull this stone boat. And you see that we've added some metal horns to the stone boat. If Sela can pull the stone boat for us down this driveway, we can have our rope horse Eve raiding the stone boat. Uh, somebody can be in the saddle with a lariat, swinging a loop. Uh, we're, we, of course, can't go fast, but that's not the point. The point is the horse, the rider, needs to go as fast or as slow as is necessary to rope the cow. So. Sela is going to help us do some roping practice here. Okay, now we, it is a windy day, uh, and it hasn't been windy in quite a while, but Sela seems to be okay on it. We're going to hook up the chains. Uh, uh, Angela is going to stand in the back and uh, hold up the single tree, and I'm going to hold up the log. And Aaron is going to try to keep Sela on a straight path. And we have an arm extension in case we need it. All right, Sila. All right. Good girl. Good girl. 
good girl. Through the carabiner. Making a little noise. She's pooping because she's a little bit nervous. Up to the hooks on the front of the yoke. It's all right, Tila. I'm going to try to carry this arm extension so that if she does get spooked, we can disconnect as quickly as possible. We have a quick release right here, and we have uh, we have the carabiners easily removed from the hook on the yoke and the carabiners on the britchet. Now you lift up the single tree. Keep it, keep it parallel to the ground. Can you hold one hand on the right and one hand on the left? I'm lifting up the log. Now Aaron is going to ask for a step up with authority. Good. Angela, release the log. Very good, Angela. And uh, we see that Susie uh, Sela is still concerned. So we're going to do it again, but without the log. We can't quit on that note. power and uh, we're seeing that Sela's head is down almost like she's going to give us one of those tantrums. Okay we just wanted to make sure that our tools were ready for when she's ready to pull. Now we're going to come back this way and then we're going to practice a lot off camera before we bring the log and back out and hook it up, uh, and certainly before we deal with the stone boat. Okay, now I'm going to walk up there. Rhythmic pressure, serpentine. Try not to look her in the eye, Erin, when you're asking for a step up. Better to look at her breast if you have to look at her. Step up. I won't go forward with my arm extension unless I need it. Good. Okay, serpentine. We can't let her resist and then stop because she'll say oh resisting is the way I get to stop work stop oh beautiful okay this time you saw our note of resolution she is uh, accepting our commands gave us the right answer uh, her mom and dad are nearby they're always concerned about the work that we do with their daughter so uh, we keep them no more than a fence apart they are over there behind those white vinyl rails. And uh, one more thing I'm going to do, because we didn't get to work with the log very much, I'm going to desensitize, seal it to the sound of the log, and show you what I mean. Kind of sack her out to it by pulling it around her. And we'll see how she behaves. Now, Erin, you may want to be close to the collar in case you want to grab it. single tree on we need to have as much practice as we can with those chains Erin be ready to grab her collar if she's spooked but she seems fine I'm just pulling the log around her good girl good job, yeah very good and then I'm gonna go the other direction everything should be done in both directions when you're working with livestock it's all right, Sela. Getting a little closer. It's all right, Sela. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. 
about Sela's safety, but let's put it back on. We're not going to move. We're just going to say this is the scene that we want you to see next time. Log on the ground. Keep the single tree up. Log on the ground. Put the single tree down and then pick it right up again. It's all right. It's all right. And Sela is going to be able to pull the log with the help of the single tree, the chains, and Oliver pulling tack. That's our objective. You'll be seeing it in a session soon, we hope. And that's all for today. Sonia Sokolo, the Urban Cowgirl. Our next session, we've been practicing before we turn the camera on, and she's doing very well with the single tree, the step up, and the woe. So as Angela and Kyle come this way. We hope she'll show you how good she's doing it. And then they're going to pick up the single tree, make a turn, and then going back down the other way, we're going to see if this time we can look, hook up the log and not have her spook uh, at anything and just pull it for a few steps. It's kind of heavy. It's a solid wood log, but I'm sure she can handle that weight. If only she wouldn't spook by the sound and the feeling. So come on up. Serpentine if she gives you trouble. Tug, 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 tug with authority. Step up, try not to look her in the eye. I've got the, the arm extension in my hand. There you go. It seems like once we get the go button going, she's OK. There you go, OK. OK, let it, let it run on the ground a little bit. Good. She doesn't seem to mind the noise. Okay, pick it up and Angela turn back around. She seems okay on that. Now let's see if she'll hoe for you. And then we'll put the single tree down and take off the chain. Good. She hoed beautifully. Take off the chain, put the quick release on, which on our last session we had to quickly release because she really got scared at something. And if we can just go up this sanded driveway towards the creek, and that's eastward, uh, Kyle is going to stand in the middle and I'll hold up the single tree with his hands evenly uh, balanced. And I'm going to hold on to the chain that's at the end of the log. We're going to keep it up until we're pretty sure that she's OK on it. And then we'll put the single tree down and the log, if all goes well. And we've got her chains that are on the side of her body hooked through her britches. So we hope we can keep the chains out from behind her back legs. OK, here we go. I'm setting up the camera so that we can see. Half a dozen steps or so forward. OK, and Angela, you talk to her. And Kyle, you let her know you're there. Okay. It's all right. so that you, you can hold on to the single tree and keep it balanced rather than the chain. That's it. Now, if she spooks, we're going to have to stay behind her. And that's what Angela did real quick as she released that this log so that you can be a little bit more athletic about staying behind her. OK, so I'm going to just drop this arm extension, hoping I won't need it. All right, let's go. Step up. The entire path down the driveway in the easterly direction, Sela did just beautifully. We kept the log up until the last few steps, put it down, let her pull it, and she got an A+. Plus. I sure hope you could see that on the camera because she did beautifully. So we released the log, and we're asking her to walk forward again with a single tree behind her. The, the key is if she, if her feet get stuck, yeah, can we convince her to keep walking? Yes, we're getting better at it. <laughs> yes, it's important not to look them in the eye when you're trying to get them to go forward. 
but you do have to look around either through peripheral vision or look down at their breast. And that is an A plus for little Miss Sela, our miniature zebu heifer. Beautiful, thank you guys. Good teamwork. You're seeing Sela ready to go. We've got her all harnessed up, but there's only a team of two. We do have somebody that can follow the camera, but can't help us in case there's trouble. So we just want to hopefully go a few minutes down the driveway with Sela pulling the log. Okay, start pulling. Sela, step up. single tree because we're not ready to ask her to pull something in the G and Ha direction. We're going to work towards that and we're going to work towards pulling the stone boat. It's going to be heavier and bigger, but we think that Sela can do it. And that's all for today. Sonia Sokolo, the urban cowgirl. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com. <laughs>